Uh, everybody enjoying tonight? Yeah. yeah. All right, good. Does everybody have a copy of the pamphlet? Everybody like those? Yeah. Good. There's links in there, FAQ, uh, uh, questions answered. If you can get a pin, an IEEE pin, they're right here at the front. At the end of tonight, feel free to come up and get one for yourself. If somebody didn't show up, go ahead and take one for them too, but you need one. Uh, okay, uh, Crystal Williams is actually going to be talking to us about Drupal Camp LA 2008. Crystal? It was so much fun we're doing it again. Woo! We like punishment. Answer. <laughs> um, so. Uh, thank you to everybody who responded on to the poll that I put up on on the groupcentrable.org GDO um, LA, and uh, so it looks like September 13th, 14th is to the best of anything that we know right now as far as other conferences that are happening, all this other good stuff. Um, looks like our best bet. So we are we are now we've got our site set for September 13th and 14th. Um, so uh, it's kind of early to be starting planning, so we're we're gonna we're not gonna jump full speed into it, but um, we are looking into we're doing preliminary looking into sponsors, a venue, and uh, a core team of people who would like to help. And um, I'm not a fan of the uh, people come and ask, hey, I want to help. What can I do? And you give them something, and you never hear from them. So, the kind of things that we would be looking for, specifically, um, a venue, uh, anybody who can hook us up with a great space, uh, I am, unfortunately our contact at AOL is uh, traveling out of the country right now, so I haven't heard back, up, back from him. Um, I have a preference for that space, if we can get it again, I, it was I, an organizer's dream. And uh, the Wi-Fi worked, we had a kitchen, there's underground parking, it was it, other than having stuff easily walkable to outside of the venue, wow. um, that was my only only thing. Um, otherwise, it, it was rather nice. Um, so we're aiming for that, and we've got a couple of other possibilities. But if you ha anybody else has any ideas, we are certainly open. Um, big question this time whether or not to do T-shirts. Uh, we did not last time, which means which means that we got to run a very, very, very cheap con last time. Um, if we do t-shirts, I would prefer not to worry about selling them. So if we do them, they would be, I would prefer that they be completely sponsored just because then it's a known issue. You don't have to worry, well, are people going to buy them, whatever. Um, the requirement so would be a, the Drupal logo has to be larger than your company's logo. <laughs> <laughs> Or multiple sponsors can we can yes. collaborate to them together and get you know maybe the sponsors on the back of the shirt. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, yeah, NASCAR. Yes, there we go. <laughs> um, T-shirts ad about a grand that we have to raise uh, in sponsorship money and require somebody to take on designing it and it's uh, it's a lot of extra work. So uh, if anybody feels like taking that on, that's something to think about. Um, Sponsors, we will need them. We try not to uh, take sponsorships. Um, like last year, the levels were 500 and 1,000. Uh, I think that's a good level. We don't want anybody completely owning it. Like keep it a community thing and accessible. Um, so anybody you know who would be interested in jumping in at those levels. Um, food, prefer to keep food at the venue, keep people there, keep the conversation there. Um, and it's a nice service, like especially if, if the venue is not walkable. You just know it's there and you can keep the conversations rolling and I feel like it's a really nice community building thing to just be able to have it all there. And, um, also, if you're carpool, you don't have to drive off. It's a good thing. Um, and then the ever-present graphics, publicity, getting the word out, all this stuff. So, um, those are the main areas that we'll need help in. If any of those sound appealing, if any of those are like, me. Um, start thinking now about what your idea, ideas are. I believe Chris has already set up a site. TripleCampLA.com. So, uh, also if anybody wants to help theming out the site, yeah. please. Yeah, um, I, I mean, she mentioned design graphics, not just like the logo or the t-shirt, but maybe badges yeah. for people who will be presenting or, you know, just to help people put it on their website or blog to link back to the website, stuff like that. We 
can take donations. <laughs> you can email us or post it on the site and say, what do you think? Yeah. And we'll love it. Okay. <laughs> right. anybody, anybody who saw my, my Drupal Lowrider logo from last year, oh, cool, right. said, hey, yeah. but we need help. Um, so, uh, yeah. But getting it, it actually takes a tremendous amount of just random little graphics to get the word out, uh, to get people blogging about stuff, and you know, get the word out to get people into an event like this. And, um, you know, as well, the publicity, that's just all over. You know, that kind of takes everybody. Twitter about it, blog about it, you know, comment in the Facebook group, whatever. Um, there is a Facebook group. Um, so you can, if you search for Drupal Camp LA, you'll find it. And so join that. Um, when we get closer, updates will start going out through that. And uh, we'll have the, the site up and running. So um, I totally recommend the Facebook thing as a viral thing put stuff in your little feed. It'll help uh, get the word out to anybody you, who you know. So that's why they are not just on our favorite little things. So anyhow, I'm taking up too much time, but uh, some things to start thinking about and uh, more announcements will come through on on the group. And what are the requirements for the venue? Um, requirements for the venue, uh, parking. It should have on, in an ideal world, a kitchen is nice, at least, you know, sinks, things that we can use uh, because we do serve food. Um, if they can, it, it needs to be at least wired for Wi-Fi. AOL was great because it's already just totally wired and set up. It was the easiest I've ever had to deal with as far as having a connection. Um, it needs one area that can hold about 200 people comfortably and at least four to five spaces that can hold 20 to 30 people um, and those should be separated out enough so that there's not a huge amount of noise, noise yeah. pollution. Um, central locations are great. Um, trying to think of any, anything else. Yeah, our, um, our Drupal camp is not near a public public camp. Camp. Yeah. It's kind of mini con -ish. Yeah. You know, so if there's a facility that, like a school or something that has multiple projector rooms, uh, you know, definitely ping them, see if we can look at it or if they're interested. Are you still taking, uh, accepting a presentation proposals? Yes. Yes. Um, okay, that, and that's the other thing. Since this is a camp and not a con, last year we had a little bit more locked down on, um, it wasn't so much presentation proposals, I don't think anybody who submitted anything got rejected. Um, last year we tried to kind of, a, a usual bar camp, everybody just shows up on the day it's held and puts stuff on the board. Since for Drupal, um, at least with the last one, we did a little bit of extra legwork on it and also took a little tiny bit of the unconference out of it and scheduled it out into tracks uh, beforehand, really trying to actively make sure that uh, sessions that would have a really similar interest group weren't overlapping, um, as well as, you know, really trying to make it accessible to uh, people who are, you know, maybe marketing or admins or business folks who would want to show versus uh, people who are primarily, like, in theming focus versus those who want to be doing module development. Um, any opinions on whether we should keep that or whether we should just go free for all? Okay, so um, we'll probably schedule that out, but it'll be sort of pre-unconference. So, you know, the site going up before, um, we'll have kind of a schedule that'll be built out on the site, and you can add your stuff into the appropriate track, and we reserve the right to switch stuff around if it's in the, if you feel like it's in the wrong track. Um, but any information, if you want to do a talk, um, you know, prep a good one, give people information about it early, and um, post, post and, on, and, the, on and the group posting, page, yeah. you know, like uh, even in the wiki of the camp or on a separate post, you know, um, just get get the word out there. And definitely, the handful of us who are always uh, making sure that the information is consolidated uh, will see it fit to be sent to the right person. And lastly, once we've got the site up and are, are working on you know scheduling out these uh, these talks. If there's something that you want to see a talk on, yep. if there's something that you have a question on, 
um, it, chances are somebody else does too. So, um, and there's also a lot of really knowledgeable people um, in our sphere that will be coming to this that perhaps don't know what they should be talking about. So, um, get together on that post. Uh, we'll, we'll definitely have a section for uh, requested talks. And as many people can fill those out and, you know, put stuff in there, that's great. Because it'll probably help somebody else pick a really great relevant topic. And you'll get to find out what you want to know. So, Okay, uh, more announcements coming soon on GDO LA and um, including the site and also recommend joining the Facebook group. And our next meeting. And our next meeting. And a meeting after that. <laughs> We've got a while. <laughs> <laughs> so just start thinking about it. Okay. Thank you, Chris. Thank you.